Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I just wanna go through what is in my scissor pouch so that you guys kind of can see what tools I use on a daily basis. So the first, first things first, let's just start, we'll start on the right, work our way down. I have my Ichi Nino San number one scissor from Mizutani. Um, I use Mizutani scissors. Uh, we also sell them on freesaloneducation.com, but um, the reason we sell them on there is because I love them. They're my favorite scissor. I love working with the company. So um, they're just a really quality scissor. This one is uh, basically a straight cobalt. I like it because it has a nice kind of bevel to the blade, which makes it really nice for dry cutting, but this isn't a dry cutting scissor, so I can also cut nice lines with it. It's got a really buttery feel to the cut, so if you like that, um, this is great for that as well. Um, this is my workhorse scissor, the Mizutani Type Z2, uh, Acro Type Z2. Uh, the thing I like about this is it's a powder metal steel. What that does is it grips the hair as it cuts, so it's gonna cut, whoop, it's gonna cut me. Uh, um, it's gonna cut way straighter lines uh, in your haircuts because you're gonna feel it grip the hair, grab it, and just cut it right off. So this one I don't use for dry cutting. I like it a lot for cutting a precision cut, and it's just you know the best scissor I've ever used. So I love that one. Then we have our blacksmith fit. The reason I add this to the collection is this is a 6.5 inch scissor. So we have a five and a half a six, and this is a six and a half. I love it for dry, or for uh, scissor over comb work. Um, things like that most of the time is really what it is. If you got this a little bit smaller, this is a great scissor for everyday cutting hair. Um, it works great for dry cutting as well. It's a cobalt scissor. It's got that buttery feel to the cut. A little bit harder feel than the Ichi Nino San, but, um, but so it does grip the hair a little bit. Great for precision cutting, but also great for for dry cutting as well. Um, so it's kind of a, if, you, if you're on a budget and you're looking for one scissor to get, this is a great you know, everyday scissor. Then we move into our texturizing scissors. And I just got these in, but I, I'm totally in love with them. Uh, they're up on freesaloneducation.com now. Uh, these are just unbelievable. So I have the Uroji uh, Acro. This is the number six. We have a zero, a six, and a 10. Basically the difference in them is the teeth. So um, the, obviously the uh, 10 has got um, wider teeth, so it's gonna take out more hair. And then you have your medium, which will take out you know, a medium amount of hair. And then you have a, the one that will take out uh, the least amount. So we have a heavy amount, medium amount, and the least amount. I like having many options when we're using a texturizing scissor because there's different cases where you don't want to take out a lot of hair. And then there's other cases where you want a lot of texture. Cutting in men's hair on the top of their head, I love having a lot of texture. If you're trying to blend in the sides, you're having trouble uh, with the, how the hair is growing out of the head and you want to use a blending shear in that way, you don't want to take out uh, a ton of hair and you don't want big lines created in the hair. So, you know, you have different options. The other thing I love about this scissor is that it has in the teeth, you'll actually see, and if you go on our website, you'll see it even better. Um, and I'll try to throw a picture up here, but um, I love that the teeth each individually kind of have a, 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 a grip to them. So, and it'll be easier to see it in a picture, but it really grips the hair, but it slides right through like butter. So if you like taking a texturizing scissor and working your way through, the other thing I love about this scissor is that it has uh, the tang on both sides. So you can flip it around. So if you wanna cut with the blade in or out, you can do that and then you can cut with it in as well. So, you know, it's very versatile there. Then we have our Plier uh, Feather Razor. I don't think you can have a scissor kit without this. Um, I'm trying to work with the company now. I would love to offer these. We don't have them on freesaloneducation.com, but it is a tool that's in my bag. It's a straight razor. They usually run about $99, depending on where you go to get them. But it's just such a cool straight blade. It's great for hair cutting. Um, maybe not the perfect shaving razor, but it is great for a haircut. Um, so if you love razor cutting and you wanna work with a straight blade, the Plier Feather Razor is a, is a great way to go. I think Jatai, uh, you can just Google them, Jatai, and you can find it online. But uh, this is what I keep in my scissor kit. I keep it all in my case, and you know, and, and it works really well for me. I love adding scissors to my collection, um, and I love learning about them because I think the more you know about the tool that you use, the better you're gonna be at cutting hair. So um, good luck, I hope you guys like this. Check us out, freesaloneducation.com. Follow us on Facebook, freesaloneducation.com, and we'll see you on the next video, thanks.